Uh, pretty much the event itself, I would say that we looked stronger versus other teams compared to, An or not Anaheim, London, uh, just because we had a harder bracket this time around. Uh, but, you know, third place, and I would say a very disappointing finish. I think a lot of our mistakes were exposed in terms of, uh, you know, us just using our brains when we play. A pair as well, EG all spawning out towards pipes, trying to rally across the map. But now, just 10 seconds needed for Optic Gaming to close this out. Dashi patrolling elevator, continues to make the play. Karma getting it done in around the hard point, and that should seal the deal. Optic in map one. Taste the victory for Optic waiting in the wind. Yeah, I mean, Phantoms, he does have the lightning, but it's not going to be very effective inside of barrels. If it's another hill, maybe there's an opportunity for EG to get back into it. Karma will get taken down, but Optic, they still have control. They can win it right here. Nine seconds needed to win this series, three to one. So plenty of time to do it. That should be it. The final kill will come in. I don't think anyone can get there in time. Two matches played for Optic, two wins on the board. You know, it was the first match of the tournament. Those are always sort of the, the rusty ones. And uh, just sort of getting the jitters out. Uh, you know, you're playing at an event. You're not playing at home anymore, so it's a little bit different. We've been here for like six years, so or actually more, way, way more than that. I've been here since Halo Reach. Halo Reach, the best Halo. He found one. Raffles out, a couple of players in Sushi, and well, two players go down. TJ walks on in. Thank you very much. 28 7, still some shots left. Now the Tempest is out as well. Optic Gaming secure the second to get the B. Heretics are flying in. Have they got enough? The second from TJ. He hasn't slowed down since the beginning of the game. Finally, he drops, but it doesn't even matter. Optic Gaming, the swiftest of 3 0s. Ben, one of the best individual performances we've had at this event so far from TJ. Lights out in the control in one of the best series we've had so far from a team. Optic Gaming in control from the very first hill. Uh, then went, went on to Heretics, and we beat them 3-0. So at this point, we're thinking, you know, we're getting better and better. We went from 3-2, 3-1 to 3-0. Uh, feeling co very confident going into Saturday. Uh, we saw a bracket we were playing against FaZe. Uh, FaZe, they, they also have been looking stronger. I would say that they're easily a, like a top four team right now. Uh, the placings show it. Uh, FaZe sort of got BS at London. I mean, because Opti put one more hit at, hit at that, Face had to fight for it, so Optic has Fence's control. You already have Karma in a great position, moved up towards Fence. Tack five in from Scump. Five seconds away now, are we, from forcing a game five? We'll see if Optic Gaming able to hold on. This should be it. There's the hold, and there's the game four. Optic making the run and getting us to the final search and destroy. He's able to find one. He wraps back. He's able to get the kill top middle. Can they isolate him and still Crimson's top window? Can Zuma win this oh, one-on-one? -on -one? He mantle. He's got the stun. He, he stuns himself. He stuns himself, and then Scum gets the kill. Three versus four. 40 seconds on the clock. Zero wins a big one-on-one. -on -one. They isolate another in the back. Now 2v2. 35 seconds to push to Crimson. He's at least able to get one. One versus one. Scum. Selium. Scum goes in. Scum goes in. Tagged up. Backed up. It's Selium with the cover, and Scump's gonna have to back away Got for the now. Maddox, the Maddox advantage. Scump goes through, and Scump stands with the one-on-one in -on -one. Optic with the reverse sweep. I went to game five frequency, and Seth clutched up. Uh, I'm not sure how many kills I had. I, I don't think. I played that well in that match. I really, I, 
a, a big problem of mine is just not playing well on the matches like the pool play and the early Saturday or the Saturday matches. I just always I always step up Sunday when in reality I got to I got to start playing better on Friday and Saturday. And I think that, you know, that's a huge problem of mine because, you know, the big money tournaments are coming up. For example, Miami, I think uh, our first round versus Spice is probably going to be on Friday. So. so after the phase match, we play 100 Thieves. And 100 Thieves, you know, they beat us at London. Uh, that match, personally, at London was probably closer than the match at Anaheim. It is a 10 point game, and this would be the potential break for 100 Thieves, but it's TJ with the war machine. He connects on three. Tempest out as well for Dashy, as he is 48 and 20, and the young Bucks frying right now is that is five down from 100 Thieves, spawning out. They can't get in, and Optic close it out. Again, we just made stupid, like, bonehead mistakes. Okay, 100 Thieves spawn opening, that's gonna be three down. Where's I? Look at the spawn oh for Optic. Look how God. far they yeah, spawn yeah. out. They're, they're spawning on frequency right now. They've got to hightail it so far across the map to try and get back into this. What an early and perfect break from 100 Thieves. It does not get better than that. He's Optic just trying to contest, trying to not allow this to happen. TJ gonna use the War Machine Prim with a kill of his own. So here we go, we're gonna head defenses, but you see on the bottom side of the minimap, it's all white arrows, all 100 Thieves. Three kills though or through. Slasher, 31 and 23. A big game from him, has not slowed down. Here. They can win it here. And Slasher's got War Machine, Octane's got Tempest, Priesta has the position. 10 more points needed, Optic's gotta get in. War Machine out from Slasher. They can close it here, can Optic contest it up to get another hard point? I don't know if Slasher, a chance to get streaks. Can Optic get in? They get in for a second, they contest it, but is it long enough? Just enough to get to another hard point, but 100 Thieves are there on the rotation, and in to the top three goes 100 Thieves. In this game at hard point, after watching the minimap, you know, thousands of times, it's just not very effective. You have to trust your teammates to get those kills, so. Um, and that's what that's what 100T does really well. So uh, they beat us again. That was the semifinals, the winner's semifinals. Uh, moved down to lower or losers bracket. Um, so that day after we lost, that was Saturday night. I was so pissed off, barely slept, and it was just like because we knew we played United, and United was like. I would say going into this event, the top three teams were, that people you know predicted to win were probably United, 100T, uh, and then maybe us or FaZe. But yeah, going into the United match, it was actually kind of funny. So when we sat down, we looked at them, and like there's moments as a competitor that you can just look at someone and be like, he's fucked. Grim, the flamethrower out. What more can he do? United, they have to funnel. They don't have time to do anything else. Streaks have been earned by Krim. Ten more seconds, and E United are going home. You have one last push. TJ with the War Machine shuts it down. Up to gaming. Defeat E United and send them home. Lost map one. You know United. They get up, start yelling at us. So, uh, but then we brought it back three in a row. So that was a. Uh, that was a good match. That was a good series. So, ended up being them. Then next match was Phase. Second time we're playing them. Uh, this mat. This time it was in losers bracket. So a lot more on the line. Go big or go home. One more round for Optic to move on. And Phase's tournament hopes to end. It could be done here. Ta TJ Dashy. They combine for three and phases, hopes and dreams ripped out of their chest. TJ is 13 and five in Optic. Move on.
everyone's stepping up in Search and Destroy. We're tweaking a few things, and we're looking really, really strong in it. So if we can just fix our respawn up a little bit, especially our hard point, I think we're in a pretty good spot to make the run. Do you have any last words? Uh, no. Just thank you guys to the crowd. You guys are amazing. Uh, we can hear you up there, and uh, it's electrifying every time. Got my boys up here, too, so... It's time for a championship. I just checked it. At the last round, he yeah, tried to dig a little bit ago. I wanted to send three there, and you got me one shot, so we couldn't. We had to delay our push, and then we were trapped. I got the three people pushing one shot. You guys dropped. You yeah, dropped dude. literally right where I was in. I just shot a straight Bro, line. I don't know how we all dropped, and we all dropped and just died. I was like, dude, how did we knock at least no, one? No first perk, no dead spots. Yeah, yeah, I was mind blown, dude. Yeah, somebody landed on me. I think everyone started feeling a little bit tired. And it was the losers bracket finals versus Gen G where it really showed. Envoy with the nade, this could be big. He finds the kill. Bomb not planted. Optic will have to retrieve it. And try and plant with 27 seconds left. In come Gen G. They've hunted out TJ. They have up to gaming trapped. Surely the pinch is gonna be there. Mox with one, Mox with two, the third comes through. And then the last SND, uh, Mox clutched a 1v3. Wasn't really the first guy's fault. I think Seth got wall banged or some shit like that. Finds TJ, but the trade comes through again. Mox for the 1v3. Now the 1v2 as Skump falls. Dashi and Karma up for Optic Gaming, 30 seconds on the clock. And Dashi has to know, but that is the worst possible timing. But Dashi has to know that that bomb is down. He was just standing on top of it. He, he doesn't have time. You don't have he time just made a bad play. And now it just comes down to, are you going to get terrible timing? Dashi's right in front of him! Mox! He clutches up in the final few seconds. He's going to do both, but now the move is here. He's even got the crash. He's going to call that, but Krim with the gunfight. The lightning strike find 3, 2v2. 20 seconds on the clock. Optic Gaming, you've got to go. And the tech 5 boost was, of course, invented. Envoy's played it so smart. He shuts down Krim. Scum shuts down Mox, but there's 13 seconds. Envoy, all he has to do is play time. He checks the bomb. Scum falls, and Gen G do it. They've been fighting all. Ended up uh, getting lightning strike to 5-5, killed I think two or three of us. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if I got one, I think I got first blood. Yeah, I did get first blood. And then as the lightning comes in, I jump up top mid and kill Havoc. But as I'm doing that, the lightning comes down, kills three of us, and we're in a 2v2. I thought someone said they're both red side or blue side, I, I don't remember, but I put my back to one side, I just get shot in the back, and uh, there it is, we lose the tournament, so we're out of the tournament. Yeah, that, so that's how Anaheim went down, guys. It was a great tournament in terms of everything, uh, but, you know, that disappointing third place, we really felt like we, you know, we're a lot better than, than what we showed, and same thing as London, so we gotta, we gotta fix some things, we gotta change some things around,